steady Loki. There, done. One square frame to hold the giant TV. So what's next, Leo? Hmm. Let me check. Yoo-hoo, Lofty! You'll never guess what happened. I had a super-duper idea for me and the Spring City Rockets to make banners. But now we need your help to handle them. Oh, I would love to. Marvellous! Come this way. Right, Lofty. Next, I need your help to attach one, two supports to the back of the frame. Uh, Lofty? Where'd he go? OK, I guess I can start building the support frames by myself, then. Wow! Look at the size of it! How big is the remote control? Actually, this TV doesn't have a remote control. My tablet will pick up a signal and send it to the TV. And then the TV show appears on screen. Wow! Here, let me show you. Have you forgotten your password again? Everyone knows that. It's, it's builder, builder number, number one. one. Oh, Bob. There. All the banners are hung. High five to that. Oh, uh, yes. Um, hi. Uh, five. Thanks, Mayor Madison. You are so cool for thinking to make banners. Cool? Me? Well, then, how about another super-duper idea? We could have... A popcorn machine. I'll call Chef Tatty and see if you could collect it, Lofty. Right -o. Can you help us, Lofty? Well, uh... Leo looks OK, so yes, of course I can help you. Go, Lofty! Oh, Lofty, thank goodness. I'm having trouble holding the brains. I'll just have to finish the job by myself. I've not done too badly so far. The TV should be working any moment now. Can't do that one. I bet you can do this, Lofty. Sorry. the wrong shape for dancing. Oh, don't be daft. Everyone can dance a little bit. It's how it makes you feel, not how you look that matters. Come on, let's unload. We put these rubber pads on the bottom layer of buttons, then put another layer of buttons on top of those at right angles. Like squares? Good, Leo. And then we put a final layer of buttons on top at right angles again. It's a pattern. Like weaving a basket. So that's 35 metres long. Ooh, watch that. It's a mirror ball to hang over the dance floor. As it spins, the lights bounce off it. Like this. Oh, it's beautiful. I'd love to dance under that, Wendy. If we don't make a start, nobody will be dancing under it. Come on. Spring City Rockets, let's practice! Don't worry, Brandon. I can't dance either. Everyone can dance, Lofty. You just need to find your own style. Come on, let's go see how the dance floor looks. This way. Come on, Mr. Bentley. I have to be perfect for 
tonight. Once more with feeling. Gently, Bentley, bend the knees. Oh, it's huge. Imagine dancing on that, Safi. Is this my dance floor? But I want to break a world record, just like Sky. I'm sorry, Scoop, but the fitness trail is only built for people. Speaking of which, could you two give me a hand with the swing bridge, please? We'll need to knot the ropes together. It's not fair. Everyone else gets to have fun in the fun run. Unless... Uh-oh. Oh, I've just had a brilliant idea! Yay! Whenever you see that, something not brilliant happens. Not this time, Lofty. Guess what? We're going to have our own super fun spotting event. Diggers, dumpers and cranes, welcome to... The Muscle Machine Games! Yeah! 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 tall, strong and blue. He'll lift you up and carry you away. Please welcome... Dumpy! Yay! Yeah! Give it up for the big red dumper with the big red heart. He's the digger with the athlete's bigger. Thanks, <laughs> Dizzy, and good luck, everyone. Especially me. As it's the first Muscle Machine Games ever, every event will score a world record. Yes! I can't fail. Round one. Won anything before. Well done, Lofty. That's a new world record. How did you do it? Well, simple, really. Powered by hydraulics, I extended my arm upwards to achieve a superior height to my competitors. Round two. <laughs> Disco throw! Bird throw set the record! <laughs> Maybe you should have tried it with your eyes open. Oh. Finished yet, Mug? We still need to make it look more natural. So we've ordered some trees and bushes. What's more, they'll help to stop the soil from washing away when it rains. Come on, Leo, let's go and collect them. And I should tell Jenny how well we're doing. Scoop, you're in charge. Thanks, Bob. Just add some more rocks and soil to the top layer, but don't pile it up too high. Okay, Bob. Finished. Hmm. It's not as high as I imagined. I think we should make it taller. Then it will be super impressive. Uh, we mustn't build it too high, Scoop. It's a mountain. It has to be high. But what if that's not what Bob wants? A big, fierce bear needs a big, tall mountain to be happy. Come on. Just a tiny bit bigger. Well, OK. If it will make the bear happy and not quite so fierce. Lofty? So long as it's only a tiny bit bigger. Yay! Let's do it! We're not ready. Bob! Bob! What's wrong, Jenny? It's the bear. Oh, no. Don't say it isn't coming. Oh, it's coming all right. But it isn't arriving next week. It's arriving today! What are we going to do? Oh, no, it's still not big enough. 
to me, Scoot. Real mountains are a hundred times bigger, and we need to make this as real as possible. You wouldn't want the bear to be sad, would you, Lofty? Uh, no, of course not. Then let's build it bigger. I suppose a bit more wouldn't hurt. One more rock. Don't worry, Jenny. We're well ahead of schedule. We'll finish the enclosure in time. Hi, Bob. We brought a few more trees than I planned. Somebody couldn't choose between one tree and another. So we took both. And we got blackberry and blueberry bushes, too. Good choices. There's love berries. We'll soon be done, Jenny. Looking forward to seeing it. But it has to. Mayor Madison is coming soon to make sure everything's ready for tomorrow's opening. But there's no way that dinosaur's going to get through those doors. What about sideways? Scoop. Uh, there might be a way. If we take the skeleton to pieces, we can carry all the bones inside and then put it back together again. I don't think that's such a good idea, Lofty. We shouldn't do anything drastic until Bob gets back. But it's getting late, and Mayor Madison will be here soon. I think it's a brilliant idea, Lofty. Come along, everyone. There's a T-Rex to take apart. Is so fiddly. I think this one goes up here. Oh dear. No. That can't be right now. Maybe this one. Ugh. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. This large one must be part of the uh, leg, so it must go here. Uh, it doesn't seem to fit. Um, what about this small one then? Uh, part of the tail, isn't it? Or maybe the left foot? No. Oh. What on earth? What happened? Sorry, Bob. It's all my fault. I was just trying to help. No, Lofty. I'm the guilty party, I'm afraid, Bob. I got this fellow's height and width the wrong way round. We couldn't get the skeleton through the doors. So we took it apart. And now we can't remember how to put it back together again. I'm sure we can fix it. Can't we? Oh, dear. It's like a big jigsaw, isn't it? If only we had a picture of what it looked like before you took it to pieces. But wait! We do! We do what? We do have a picture. Leo took some photos on his phone. That's right, I did. Ooh, that's where that bit goes. Oh, yes. Splendid, splendid. Now, there's no time to lose. Let's get this sorted out before the mayor arrives. in peace. Gently does it. Nearly there. Nearly there. That's it, Tutum. Perfect. Right. That's everything. Yep. We best get back to see how the rest of the team's getting on. Hmm. It must be ready by now. Things really do go faster on ice. I've always wanted to be a little bit faster.
ice rink should have frozen by now. Fancy a quick skate before the Spring City Rockets arrive, Bob? Hmm, maybe. I used to love skating when I was a kid. Take it from me, Bob. Ice is no fun at all if you're a machine. Had some bad experiences, have you two, Tom? Bad? I'll see. The Frozen North was the worst we did. The roads in the Frozen North were simply treacherous. Ice everywhere. Trucks and lorries sliding all over. Two times I said to myself, you're going to have to go very, very slowly up here, first of all. Two ton? Yes, Wendy? There's no ice on the roads in Spring City, so we don't have to go slowly here, do we? No, no, of course not. No ice on the road here. You're quite right. <laughs> it takes me back thinking about it. And it's a good thing I did go so slow in the first half. Because one... There are too many bricks here for me to carry in one go, Leo. That's OK, Scoop. We can get Muck to carry those. Um, where is Muck? I haven't seen him in ages. <laughs> Pile of gravel. I love gravel. Is it gravel, Bob? No, Muck. It's not a pile of gravel. We're giving Curtis's garage workshop a complete makeover. I love garages. If I hadn't gone into building, I reckon I could have been a mechanic. What your problem is, Lofty mate, is your brakes are all gone. <laughs> well, I need you to be a builder today, Scoop, because we're putting up a new roof, a new sign, and best of all, installing a new vehicle inspection lift. What's a vehicle inspection lift? Well, Muck, it's a... Uh... It's all right, Lofty, I'll explain. A vehicle inspection lift is a lift to raise vehicles off the ground so they can be inspected underneath. Exactly. Now we've got a lot to do in not a lot of time. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Maybe we could just get a sandwich from that cafe and head back. A sandwich? I'm just worried about leaving someone else in charge. Oh, come on, Dad. It's not someone else, it's Bob. And it's your birthday. We're about to eat at the best restaurant in the whole of Spring City, so just relax and enjoy it. I am relaxed. Slowly. Gently. That's it, Lofty. A little to the left. And now all the way down. It's in. Excellent job. Oh, a beautiful piece of kit. Us mechanic types know these things. I could totally mend a car, no problem, with the help of one of these. What's Scoop on about? I don't know. I don't think he does either. Well, that's the final panel of roof in place. All we need to do now is put up the neon sign and take down the scaffolding tower. Looks like we'll have Curtis's surprise finished right on time. As long as there aren't any problems. Hello. Could somebody help me? I seem to have a bit of a problem. What can I cook for you today? Uh, what's the quickest thing, Chef Daddy? The quickest? Oh, <laughs> oh well, the minute steak. That takes a minute. I'll take it. What about you, son? Don't keep the poor man waiting. We've got places we need to be. Um, so, what's in the fish pasta? Fish and pasta. Right, OK, good, good.
I'm ready to start digging out the new path. Hold on, Muck. Leo is supposed to be taking care of Cooper before we start any noisy work. And Leo would better hurry. We're running out of time. I wonder where he is. Here, Pilchard. Pilchard, come to me. Oh, please. Bob's waiting to start work. board walls, the paint's still wet. Um, Bob, shouldn't the new door be in place by now? I'm waiting for Leo to take Cooper. Don't worry, I'll take Cooper. <coughs> then I'll come back to help you cut out the wall and lay the path. Now can I get the new car? Not yet, Monk. Now you have to wait for Wendy to come back. And yes, I know, Lofty, time is running out. Pilchard. Quickly now. I need to go get as just now. Scoop, if you're bored, why don't you tidy up the new delivery of rocks? Oh, sorry, Bob. Did I disturb you? It's time to hang that rope ladder. Err. Uh, Wendy? Yes? You know that floor panel you just painted? Yes. Um. Safi, wait! The paint's not dry! Wendy, what's wrong? Is everything okay with the treehouse? Yes, everything's fine. I just need to check the paint. Phew! Because I really want to amaze the others. Lofty, change to the schedule. I'm now repainting the floor. Thanks, Muck. Can you take them to Wendy? And quickly, I'm a little behind schedule. Isn't that right, Scoop? What about the flag for the top of the treehouse? There's a flag. I haven't got a flag on the schedule. Don't worry, I'll make the flag. After I fix my workbench. Hold it steady, Lofty. This glue will set the window, but it's very sticky. You don't want to touch it. How sticky is very sticky? Look, Wendy. Pictures of all the spring city rockets. Careful of the sticky stuff, Safi. Don't worry, Lofty. I'll protect the window. Done. Come on, Wendy. Now we can hang the zip line. What's the matter, Wendy? Is everything okay? The treehouse will be ready, won't it? Everything's fine, Safi. You go. I'll be along in a minute. Oh. <laughs> 
Up you get, Your Majesty. Now, it's time to try raising the portcullis. Now, it's very heavy, so you both need to crank your winches at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. We don't want the portcullis to fall. OK, Wendy. <laughs> Oi, how dare thee trespass? I command thee to retreat, foul beast. <laughs> and don't come back. Leo, is everything secure? It is now, Bob. <laughs> that feathery bow was no match for the brave and cunning Prince fix a lot wasn't supposed to happen, was it? No, it wasn't. And now Leo is trapped. Uh, ah, fear not, everyone. Nothing Prince fix -a -Lot can't fix. I'll simply raise the portcullis like this. <laughs> the portcullis is too heavy, Leo. It needs two people to crank the winches. <laughs> <sighs> Guess I'll just have to find a different way out. Another adventure for Fearless Prince fix a lot. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, Leo? There's someone else in here. <laughs> I think it's a ghost. A ghost? A ghost? Do be silly. There are no such things as ghosts. Are there, Bob? Of course not. <laughs> you don't scare me, ghosty. You're no match for the gallant prince fix a lot. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, Leo. The important thing is to stay calm and try not to... Hey! Panic. Just sit tight. I've got a brilliant plan to get you out. That's great, Bob. What is it? <laughs> Look out, Scoop. I just mean be careful with the day of the day. Okay. To shout. This is so much fun. <laughs> well, it works, Bob. It's just not working properly. I'll take a look. No, no. I think I know what the problem is. Is this knob? Switch the voltage. Now, Wendy, try it again. Looking good. Just needed some Bob magic. Uh, that might be a little fast. Actually, maybe some Wendy magic might be better. You're doing a great job. Hey, did you hear that? Don't worry, Bob. It's probably just my hydraulics. Oh, yeah, nothing to see here. Well, listen, as a reward for working so hard, you can be the first to test out the new barrier. Really, Bob? That would be... No, Bob, uh, I'd better not. Uh, th there's still a lot to do. Actually, we're in pretty good shape. Come on, Scoop. Everyone deserves a breather now and again. Uh, 
I've just got something I need to sort out. It's, uh... uh you go ahead. I'll see you there. <laughs> oh, there go my hydraulics again. Uh, was that Wendy just calling for you? I didn't hear anything. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, gull. I didn't listen to anyone and now I've sprung a leak and got to keep it covered up. Oh, no. Mark's coming. Actually, maybe Mark can help. Thanks, Leo. Is the giraffe there yet? Is it? Is it? Is it? Not yet, Lofty. We've got a lot more building to do before then. Oh. I know everything there is to know about giraffes. I even know what they have for lunch. What's that, Lofty? Leaves and flowers and fruit and seeds and herbs and vines. <laughs> there. This should keep the giraffe safely in his home. Just the last few watts to come over, Leo. Where do you want these leaves, Bob? That's the giraffe's food. Just put it over by the viewing platform. Can you lift over the last few watts, Lofty? OK, Leo. Here they come. Sorry, Bob. I just wanted to see the giraffe. Oh, that crashing scared the giraffe. He's run off into the zoo. Oh, dear. I've broken everything. I've made the giraffe run away. Don't worry, Lofty. I'm sure we can sort it all out. Wendy and Leo, can you repair the fences and the viewing platform and scoop? Can you help them? OK, okay Bob. Bob. And the rest of us will split up and find the giraffe. OK, okay, okay Bob. Bob. Prince with one, two, three, four feet. They must belong to a little green man. Perhaps he's here on holiday in Spring City. Yay! Come on, everyone. Follow me. This one. Oh, that's the last floor panel fitted. Let's take it for a test spin. Bravo! Brilliant! With this remote control, we can change the speed of the revolving floor. You can even change direction. That's great, Wendy. You've certainly earned your sardine sandwiches. I hope everyone's hungry. Feast your eyes on these delicious crumbs. Someone's eaten all of my sardine sandwiches. Not a problem. Why not just whip up an omelette on the cooktop? Oh, um, I'm afraid I don't know how to make anything fancy. Trust me, my wee building buddy. Anyone can cook. Chef Teddy will teach you. You see, cooking is a simple art. The 
This is my paintbrush. Just like this is your paintbrush. That's a hammer. That's sizzle. Make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Okay, Bob. Ready, steady, flip. What happened to the omelet? It tasted better when it was on my head. I guess not everyone's always in the kitchen. Are we going first? Ah, yes. Mmm, mmm. I love trying new mixtures and creating new colours. Now, let's mix it all up. Okay, Tastic. Ooh, only okay, Tastic, eh? Well, I need more than okay, Tastic from Bob. Let's try and mix up something else. There's no way I am going to be making the usual concrete. Today, I will be mixing up the Scoopalicious Concrete Tastic Surprise. Are you sure Tea Time will be okay with that? Two-ton doesn't have to know. Uh, I'm back and ready to mix, Two-ton. Now, remember, Scoop, always measure the ingredients out correctly, or it just won't work. That's two parts cement, two parts aggregate, one part water, and one part sand. All right, Two-ton, got that. Ah, there's nothing like the usual concrete. And this will be nothing like the usual concrete. What do you think of version three? Have we found Shake Tastic yet? They were all great. That one was a delightful combination of sweet and savory. That one was a party in your mouth, and that one was an explosion of foamy delight. Mm. Oh, not bad then. Bob? Mmm. Um. That one was. Um. Sort of. Pink? Pink? Hmm. Tiny, can you send the loading cage down again, please? We've got an extra heavy load to send up for Bob. Coming right down. What an extra heavy load coming up. 
Time for some more tower power! he likes it as much as he thought he would. Right. Now we've just got to install the lift car and the... That sounds like Scoop. Oh, no! What's he doing up there? Wishing he was down here by the sound of things. I've got an idea. Tiny, lower the cage down to me. Wendy, we're going to need the welding equipment. Okay, Bob. I'll get the welding masks. 